to have little effects and things like Very that. Cool. Minus one just means the track minus the voice, but uh, it. Sorry, I just I just thought I asked to you. Oh, it's a good fucking question. Yeah. Um, cool. Oh look, look who it is, Half Abby. Oh okay, hello, sir. He's making a lot of noise. Alamoba girl. Alamabo. <laughs> Reminds you of Gunna so much. <laughs> He's actually Hey, and he's making serious noise at the moment. Because that Alamo Bank Girl song means so much Oh, it's a sample of a. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know. Uh, but yeah, Yes. Uh, yes, sir. I love him. Well, the cameraman never dies. What the fuck is that melody? Oh damn, what is that sample? Lo tengo y lo saco, lo meto y lo mato, lo saco. Oh, damn, I want to see Scrooge Brown, but I don't think it is. Da, 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 da. And I think it's faster. It's that fucking dance move, mate. Nah, nah, bro. So, someone in the comments will let us know. Um, BS. There was one more song that I wanted to check out, but I'm actually afraid, like, so afraid of copyrights. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think we'll probably leave it for the next time. I think a lot of you guys knew what it was, but we shall leave it. I'm fucking tired of the podcast getting blocked and that you guys are not going to see shit. But our hearts and souls are with this man. All right. Big up Easy Meal, yeah? Uh, uh, I, I'm just so afraid of Eminem's label. I know he's very friendly with reactors. Uh, we've never... We don't know him. So... <laughs> Other people might know him, not me. <laughs> uh, and, and now, Isimil is with Eminem. So I, I, I really don't want to get blocked. I'm very afraid. Um, so, but if, if uh, maybe you guys really want that, we can maybe do it in a separate video. So yes. that way, if the podcast sort of can go up, we'll be more than happy to do it in a separate video. And maybe we can extend our, our team can extend the, you know, a little email or something like that. But uh, aside from that,
You guys have been awesome and Correct. we love this vibe. Let us know if the urban scene at the moment is really creating as much noise as we think it is. Obviously, the numbers are not lying, but... Uh, Obviously, it's very big on the platform. Correct, you know? correct. The Instagrams and the TikToks and all that. Are you happy with the new gen mm. in comparison to what the old gen was? It seems the old gen was way more lyrical, way more uh, uh, focused on uh, narratives and stories. Um now it seems to be more about the vibe. Correct. When it comes to urban music, we do have to utilize a specific review and criteria. I mean, it that that differs from others. Mm -hmm. I can't judge this based on a jazz criteria or on a ballad criteria. Uh, does it? This is different. Does it provide the vibe? Is it bumpy? Do you get the fucking hips moving? And 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 do you actually feel like are you actually having a good time? Correct. At the end of the day, it's all about are you having a good time? And if you are. It's working. Musical complexity gets <laughs> oversold a lot. I think yes. especially by reviewers and snobs and people who write articles. Uh, it would be that sort of people <laughs> like us. But uh, it's certainly overrated. Musical complexity mm. does not mean, com mean commerciality or enjoyment. Correct. So uh, let us know your thoughts. Thank you Don't so much for watching. Don't get by other people. <laughs> and uh, goodbye. Adios.